I'm gonna be painting this image that I took every day for five days to see if I can improve. You know, my teachers always said practice makes perfect, but is that possible within the span of a week? If you know me and my art, I tend to not paint landscapes, right? I'm a portrait guy, so I had no idea what I was doing when I was going into this painting. But I started the same way I would paint a portrait, back to front and dark to light. So I started off with a large brush and moved into a skinnier one as I got more detailed and sort of built up the environment. It sort of worked in the beginning, but as I got more and more into the painting, I could tell that there was a lot that I could improve on because some parts were literally just green blobs. But we persevere, we're still gonna work through it. We're still gonna try and make it work. I definitely didn't give myself enough time for a bunch of these details, but this is only day one. So it's only up from here. All right, day two, let's run it. So noting some of the mistakes that I made in the first one, I decided to use the same brush for the whole painting in this one. Instead of, you know, using a bigger one in the beginning and then a smaller one, I just went for one standard size that I could get a bunch of variation. in. I also started off with the background first, so you could see me filling in these clouds first before I even start on the green part in the front. I also kept the green part very, very dark until the very end because I really wanted to punch in those highlights and just boost the contrast from yesterday's painting in general because I really wanted some of the dark parts and some of the light parts to show through. Thirdly, I definitely gave myself more time on this one. All right, well, I definitely see myself improving, firstly. I love the colors of these mountains a lot better than yesterday's. I think the sky still needs a little bit of work. I tried a different technique for the bushes, but I don't think it's the most successful thing ever. Uh, and the grass is still You could just block this part of that painting. Yeah, see you tomorrow. But you don't have to wait for tomorrow because day three is right here. And I will start off by saying, I went for a blue underpainting this one. I thought that the green and the browns were sort of messing me up, so I just went for a straight blue to put some color on there, and then I started sketching from there. Now, I wanna give a little bit of context for why I'm painting this. This is actually a picture that I took in Colombia while me and my mom were visiting this past August. Now, this was my first time in the country, and we were actually in a coffee field, and you could see the little village that my mom was actually born in. So this is a pretty special picture to me, and I wanted to gift it to my mom. There's also another reason. I really want to start doing in-person landscapes, which are called plein air paintings. And I'm trying to get good at it because I want to start painting in person. I want to start being able to paint in person and within one hour. So this is, you know, good practice for that. So doing this indoors and starting out learning the techniques, learning a little bit more about landscapes from actually painting, it's going to be helpful. So yeah, subscribe if you're enjoying this or if you are interested in in-person landscapes because I will be posting videos about that. There are two things that I want to do in the next one. I wanna definitely add a bunch more colors behind here. I think that's how I'm gonna achieve something different. And I wanna improve this road because this is, I always leave this for last, but I think it needs the most improvement, so. I also wanted to mention, yes, I do wear this hoodie like every single day because it's just my painting hoodie. I just leave it in the studio at night and I don't wanna mess up my other ones. So if you wanna fight about it, leave a comment. But yeah, on to date. It was the fourth day of me painting this every single day and I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely feeling the pressure slash stress. You know, keeping up with this series isn't necessarily easy. I have to wake up every day and plan one hour out of the day to repaint <laughs> this painting that I've already painted over and over and over again. Um, so I was definitely feeling it in this one. I felt a little bit of the fatigue. I didn't even go for an underpainting background. I just went straight for the sketch and I went straight to filling. And this is something that I haven't really done before because I'm used to toning my canvas so I'm able to compare the colors very quickly. But in this case, I was just comparing it to the white and comparing it to what I was putting down. So I was thinking that this one will look very different from the rest. I also did something else different. I had my favorite painting, which happened to be the first one, alongside me for the entirety of this piece. Um, because I thought it'd be interesting to, you know, directly compare it to something that I already painted instead of just comparing it to the photo. So that's what I did. I also very quickly realized that the colors that I was getting in my other pieces weren't as vibrant as this first one. So I decided in this one that I really wanted to keep them vibrant and not muddy them up. And, you know, just keep everything very fresh, very light, very fun. I was done with making this piece look very dingy and dark with the sky, especially because it was a rainy day. So I changed a couple things, including adding a shadow on the plants to the left below them. I emphasized the little villages and the mountain in the background. And yeah, just noodling around. I am pleasantly surprised. I think things look more alive, right? Things are flowing more. Yeah, I think today was a success in my opinion. Let's see if I could get even better tomorrow because I now I'm understanding this. Now, I'm, now things are making sense. Things are making sense. All right, it is the last day of this challenge. Oh, 
what a what a freaking experience this has been i guess i'm looking forward to this i feel like this is gonna definitely be my best painting so without further ado let's do it by the end of this painting i'm gonna tell you all about my thoughts on this final piece but for now i'm gonna tell you about doing this project is this worth it is the big question right and i'm gonna say no this is not worth it painting every single day the same photo over and over again to get better is not necessarily the best thing. There are a couple reasons why this isn't the best. First of all, is that I think that doing the same thing over and over again isn't necessarily good for understanding the fundamentals of what you're doing. In the first painting, I was understanding the process as a whole and I was excited to repaint it because I was thinking that in repainting it, I could see different things, but I was essentially just looking at the same thing over and over again um, because I'm not really focusing on details in this project, right? I think definitely this could work if you're doing multiple studies for a larger painting because if you do really spend your time with it, it'll let you focus in on the small details and let you test out colors and whatnot and compositional techniques and whatnot. And you know, eventually when you're painting this big piece, you could have changed a lot of things by the time. I definitely recommend doing one or two studies though because you know, five is a little bit of overkill. But by the end of this, I was feeling really tired of just doing the same thing over and over again. I feel like I wasn't really learning anything more about painting landscapes. Uh, I wish I had just, you know, mixed in a, a bunch of different things such as, you know, buildings, different sky colors. I definitely do think that painting every day was beneficial for me, however. I don't necessarily paint every single day of my life as I probably should, but I do think that this practice can be helpful for someone. But my recommendation would be to paint every day something different and maybe for a little less time. You know, if you could only allocate 30 minutes a day, do 30 minutes a day because eventually that builds up and you'll eventually reach your goal and learn a lot from this whole process. So I sort of knew and understood this going into this final part. So I really just wanted to focus on color for this final piece because I wanted to make this feel so alive like what I was doing with the fourth one. So I was looking at the reference and I understood sort of the the forms that I was creating. So I decided to change up the color and the direction of the light. Instead of there just being a soft box in the sky coming from the clouds, I decided to make there be a sort of sunset, a warm sunset coming from the left. So you could see me add these warmer colors to the top of the trees to the left and then also on the ground. And I think this was super fun. I think not copying exactly from the photo is very fun. So this leads me to my last tip. If you are gonna do this project, variate things. Try new things, try new colors. This is where learning is going to happen. This is where your experimentation could really come alive and flourish. And I'm grateful that I actually noticed this and tried it for this final piece because I think this is probably my favorite one because it is, it is different. It has that variation. The warm colors coming from the light and then the cool ones coming from the landscape looks really beautiful. And I think this is the one that I will give to my mom in the end.